All right, hello everyone. So uh, I just thought I would make a video. Uh, I get a lot of the same questions over and over again. So I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's just make a video talking about things uh, right now. The doll is sitting on a, on a cushion and she's not liking it. But um, so I keep getting asked, uh, where did I find the doll? Uh, first off, this was an eBay purchase, and uh, huh, uh, I used to, I was actually purchasing a bunch of dolls off of eBay. If you look at my eBay history, it'd be kind of weird, but uh, I was buying lots of dolls. Like, when I mean lots, I mean not just individually, but it's like, it'd be like, oh, haunted dolls, and it'd just be like a, a box full of them. And uh, she actually was a bid I put on for this one uh, by this one lady and lo and behold I got her for like 10 bucks so I mean it wasn't great I mean it wasn't like I, I didn't think anything was gonna happen with that I was really like okay so I I got another doll alright and there's I, I took videos with these other dolls. I eventually just gave them to uh, a couple of nieces of mine, but um, nothing happened. I, I just put them on a few things. Um, the initial video of uh, little Molly here was was me and Daffy sitting here. We were playing Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, the what do you call it survival game and we were just I mean it wasn't even an investigation thing I was just like okay you know what uh, we'll see if something happens I'll just put her here and we'll just see and what happened uh, she had, she was I mean everything was sped up I mean she was not moving it, it wasn't like literally like type of thing. I mean, she was moving so subtly uh, during the whole thing that it was like, you know, I couldn't tell. I thought he was bumping it the whole entire time. I thought he was moving around because he was making a lot of noises during the game. So, the corner of my eye, I just thought, literally, he was just bumping her. It wasn't until I saw the video that I was like, oh, there's something strange. Excuse me. But, um, no, uh, I honestly, I've reached out to the account that I purchased her from. Uh, they do not exist anymore. I understand that how uh, convenient that is. But, uh, no, it, it was really, I mean, it was literally something just like Cindy's Antiques something like that it was something really uh, it, it reminded me of a store uh, I looked back on my uh, my eBay um, messages and I mean if you delete your account even the messages were gone so no that I have no hope on that I wish I would have saved things I mean honestly you have to realize when I get a package just throw everything away I didn't even think about it, it wasn't until way later uh, let's see another question that keeps getting asked uh, uh, sorry it's like two in the two in the morning um, I was going through the um, YouTube comments especially the one where people were the the spirit thing uh i do wish i put more in there camera wise um i actually uh i got that on instagram somebody said hey you should put her in front of a mirror and see if you know her just she reacts to her own image and um 
so I didn't even think, didn't even think about, you know, what could have literally happened there. Uh, I mean, I don't know, it's weird. I, I've, I've looked at that footage quite a bit, and there's a lot of little oddities that I don't understand. I mean, look, I'm using the same camera and same phone, and we've had the same lighting, and I'm not getting this weird blipping of, of like, the, the, the lens kept with the light, and it's the same constant light. So I don't understand what happened there. I, I, I have no clue. Um, I mean, there's even like, I guess it's just when you stare at it so intensely, I could swear that I see like the toilet paper moving, which is weird because the camera doesn't move, but it looks like the toilet paper that the camera is literally on, it's moving a little. I, I, I can't explain it, but it doesn't make sense or else the camera would move. And um, I put it, the footage into this little, you know, Windows Movie Maker. I'm so sorry about all the yawning. I am so sorry, I'm so sorry, sorry. Um, I put it in Windows Movie Maker and I, I zoomed in and no, I, it doesn't make any sense because I think it's just the, just the camera itself that caused that weird anomaly. So, oh, that's why I'm not super, I'm not super believing the slight spirit thing you know uh, I just got a text message so I was reading that um, I'm not super believing that I saw the spirit thing I think maybe it could still have just been the camera malfunctioning but it is pretty interesting um, especially like at first I didn't think anything of it and then I was scrolling through I was just clicking and I was like okay let me let me see and I just scrolling through and it wasn't until I scrolled really fast with my finger that was like, hold on. And I, I saw it. It looked very, like, like animated. You know, I was like, what? No way. And I hit play, and I mean, it was, it's slow. It's really slow. Um, I just wish, I just wish I had more of an angle on that to show everything. Uh, I mean, it's just a small small bathroom um, other things uh, another thing everybody asks me everybody asks about um, well first of all people talk about I get a lot of comments from people who say they're, they're, they're feeling things from the doll. The doll is, is causing things to happen in their house. Which, these same people are telling me that the doll seems to really uh, react or, or I guess, uh, affect other spirits. So if you've ever had, like, any kind of weird anomaly... There's like, the doll is kind of like a conduit through YouTube over there. And that's an interesting idea. So I'm not really quite sure how that would work or how that um, could possibly make any sense. But apparently it is working a little bit. I mean, it, it's affecting some people. And... I find that a very unique situation. I have a lot of people coming out and doing that. I have some people sending me uh, footage and some uh, audio. Very unique audio. I, I just got an EVP from one of you guys saying that uh, a ghost said... Uh, oh my 
gosh, I just I just lost it. Hold on. Ghost said there's a word here. I'm missing. I'd have to go back to my email. But it was it was really cool. It sounds really interesting. I, I just wish, you know, a lot of times when you get EVPs, you just wish that you saw the footage. So that way you could tell exactly where it came from. And you could see a little bit. Um, but no, I, I understand. I mean, I get a lot of criticism here. People are like, oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? You know, there's only so much that you can do when you don't have a lot. I mean, a lot of times I'm filming this with my phone. So it's not like I'm putting it through a computer. It's not like I'm doing any kind of special anything. I'm, I'm literally just recording it with my phone. And then like I'll, I'll through the iPhone and then I'll like slide over here so you don't always see me. Hit play, or hit, and why'd you fall? Now, one thing to note, everybody, uh, I'm going to show you here. Her, uh, her thing is actually on a separate couch than me. I did that on purpose, so that way I could not affect her in any way. So her falling was a little different. Um, so I found out to keep her from falling, if I push her into the couch, or the, the couch cushion here, which is, it's just like a pillow, but uh, she can stay. And she'll stay for a long time. Normally she'll sit there all day. So, I mean, this is how I've been sitting completely away. So, uh, I'm gonna do this for the rest of the video. See if she falls back over. Maybe does something. Come on. There we go. Now I have to lean back. Don't want to break the controllers. But, moving on. So, um, more things that, uh, that people have been asking. Um, people, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk even about, uh, toxicity people say a lot of people say I'm uh, doing this just for views um, I mean the thing is who doesn't want views on YouTube um, really what I'm doing here is and I've said this many times before but I'm doing this for you all because this is something that I've always been interested in and I've always wondered why other paranormal um, investigators I mean I'm not I'm now calling myself a paranormal investigator but other in paranormal investigators they do they do these things and they go to like a, a doll that's haunted and they say hey what's happening oh let's check her out oh, okay nothing happens or they go to a haunted location for like 24 hours or 12 hours or two hours and oh try to get something well if nothing happens then okay they're like well we're writing that one off well spend some time there you know do something I've even I have a joke video up here on spooky links that I did with a friend of mine like six years ago and um, I mean, it's, it's obviously a joke. That's something that, but I mean, this is a this is an idea that I I threw out to him, and he was like, oh, you know, it'd be great. Let's let's buy something off of eBay, and uh, because we were seeing 
I, t I mentioned to him, I was like, I see all the time people selling haunted dolls on eBay. And it's just, it, it would be funny if said, what if you actually got one and actually did this? And we, of course, we made jokes about it, but I was like, you know what? I, I wish somebody would actually do that. And so that's what I did. That's why I did this. You know, this is my interest. This is my thing that I wanted to see done. So I said, screw it. I'll do it. And that's how all of this came to be. Uh, you know, you can do, like, if you think about it, I could sit here and I could make something move, you know, you'd be like, oh, look, this is going to move. And then maybe with some clever tweaking of like after effects or something like that. You can, you can do that, but, uh, you know, there's another thing where, and that's what I try to do also with, when I have like professionals come in and help me, uh, who, who do video stuff, like when the doll actually moved her head and looked up, I actually had friends of mine come in and crush different uh, artifacts, different everything around just to show everyone. They're like, guys, there is no strings. There is nothing going on around her. There is, I mean, this is exactly, she's moving. And so then I get a lot of things where people are saying, well, hold on. What if you have something inside of her? Uh, I've stripped her naked uh, in a video to show you guys there's nothing inside of her. Um, I mean, I've even shown that her arms are like paper thin when it comes to like the joints and even certain areas. So to even have something inside of her to make it move or make it, make it do anything. I mean, you, you it, it sewn at the seams is completely sewn up. You'd have to have some kind of rod or something. I mean, well, I honestly, I have no idea how it would actually be done. So, um. I'm not a puppeteer of any kind. And people could say, oh, you're rigging up these things. You're rigging something up. And honestly, what's weird is, you know, if I was really trying to just fake this, you would think that, you know, you would think that I would sit here and go, okay, let's... Let's make her walk. Let's make her do this. Let's let's make her have like like an actual demon come over here. Let's let's have shit flying off the walls. Let's have everything just go crazy. Um, but no, I mean, I'm not just leaving a camera somewhere. Then you just see my entire kitchen just getting demolished. I mean, you, that's gonna get. I mean, that gets millions of views. Uh, you know, you, uh, the the things where people go into, like, a haunted house or haunted area that is, quote, haunted, and you see people running around going, oh, my gosh, and you see, like, fire, the light here. I mean, I've seen the, like, the nukes top five and things like that where, where it's, like, it, it seems like it's so good to be true. It's like a movie type stuff. Those get millions and millions of views. I mean, if I was literally doing this to try to get millions of views, I'd be setting those things up. I'd, I'd go out and spend a hundred bucks to go set that up. I wouldn't sit at home and just <laughs> shoot a doll. So, I mean, sometimes I'm sitting here talking to the doll and nothing happens for a long while. I mean, us sitting here talking right now, I don't think... What, you guys are going to be all excited about the doll falling over? I mean, that that's not going to... What am I going to title this? Doll Falls Over? Come watch. I'm so excited. I mean, you have to think. I'm not... If I was doing this for the views... Uh, I mean, the, the, the joke doll thing that I did a long time ago has way more views than anything I've ever done with this doll. Uh, so... 
there's so many more ways I could do something to get views here. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to to do some kind of fakery or trickery trying to get you guys interested in this. You know? It, it, it's it's not me. I'm trying to contort myself so I would don't affect this. But I'm also trying to stay lower so I can talk. So yeah, when, when people are saying that, I mean, it's obviously fake. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's doing that. No, it's not. No, I, I haven't done anything that's fake. You know, people, people cite the, like, the nosebleed thing. And keep in mind, that's not the first time I had a nosebleed while messing with the doll. So I didn't really think that that was something that I was experiencing from the doll. So I kept going on and, you know, even just talking about that one, people said, oh, he's doing something to his nose. Um, first of all, uh, my nose doesn't work properly anymore. Uh, I mean, I can, I can kind of breathe through it just fine, but um, I've had my nose completely taken off. I've had my nose taken off and had to get glued back on. Um, there was an accident and it happened. So uh, if I were to be like sticking something up my nose, causing a nosebleed, I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty dangerous for only like, hey, look, you're only getting like 4,000 views. I mean, th that generates to, to nothing, really. So, I, I, I don't think I'm up for physical mutilation in order to do that. Uh, it, to also say that uh, I put some, I put some fake blood or something up my nose... I mean, the weird, okay, so, first of all, if you've ever had anything in your nose, like, if I just stick this up in my nose right now, um, my finger is in my nose. You can hear it in my nose. So, that's the thing. I mean, if I'm over here actually sticking something up my nose and I have liquid in my nose, you would obviously hear it. I'm just talking the whole time. So, I mean, it, I don't know where the nosebleed. I don't know how, well, first of all, I don't know how the anatomy of the this whole cavity here, I'm trying to show the cavity, this whole cavity of where your nose is uh, works, but, I mean, a, I just started having a nosebleed. Now, keep in mind, I was, this is what also I think was going on. I was... I had a nosebleed not too long ago prior to that. So, I'm thinking it was probably just a huge coincidence because even prior to that, I was feeling sick and I was sick for a while. And so I feel like, you know, I was also kneeling and I was leaning over. And so I, I think it was just my body position and everything together just pushed it out and they said how come you didn't feel it dripping well first of all I mean if you've ever had a nosebleed you know if, if, if like sometimes I mean heck if even you have a cold sometimes snot will drop down and you don't realize it at first um, especially if you're focused on other things and I was focused on other things um, I mean even Somebody said that I kept leaning off camera. I mean, it's really hard to focus on. I, I'm not always staring at this thing and know where I am on camera. And I, I'm never trying to, like, I'm not actually thinking that anything's going to affect me. So I'm, I have everything on the doll. That was my main focus. And I know I'm talking a lot about this, but there was a lot of people talking about it. And, I mean, even people say, well, he's doing something to his nose. And I, I realize what you guys say. I mean, I was on camera and I exited 
and then on camera exited. But then for the rest of the whole thing, I, like like nine minutes to, to 20 minutes, I did not leave camera. So I didn't mess with my nose at all. And it still started bleeding again on camera. So like, like gushing, like good, good amount. I mean, but so, I mean, you, you can say, oh, he's been doing that, but I never left camera again. So, I mean, you, you can say all day long that I somehow faked it, but I mean, I was on camera. I don't, I try to be as honest as possible on these things. And I mean, what am I not telling them the truth about? Uh, I'm telling the truth about everything. So whatever you guys want to know, I can tell you, you know, uh, if I'm not giving any information that you feel is pertinent, I can, I can tell you, uh, I'm trying to be an open book here and I'm trying to invite you into my life, into my home and into my investigation, my, uh, my experiments with a supposedly haunted doll. And, um, yeah, some of this stuff, you know, it's interesting process, but at the same time, I just want you guys to know that, um, I'm not trying to, excuse me, that's a hiccup of some kind. My stomach contracts. Um, I'm not trying to, to do any kind of trickery. If I was going to do that, you know, you'd see a lot more outrageous things than just me with a doll. I mean, I, I remember reading one comment uh, when I said that I was uh, having to reconsider things. Somebody said, oh, he's because he can't think of anything else. It's like, you know, first of all, that's, that's the kind of toxicity that, you know, spurs people not to, to do this kind of stuff. I mean, for, first of all, now you're saying that I'm not, I'm not creative because nothing really that creative happened. And you're saying then, hey, can't think of anything else. It's like what? But I, I mean, we li literally only put the camera in front of her and like did a few things. Ever. It's like the normal paranormal investigation stuff. And now you're you're criticizing. Like if I was doing this for fake, you're criticizing if I had any creativity left. And it's like man, oh. hits kind of deep. I mean, I'm a worldwide published novelist for a couple of novels. So, I mean, I guess it means a little bit more to me than, uh, than somebody who, uh, you know, you just say that to, you know, just, I, I live off of my creativity, you know, and, um, That's why that was, that was a weird comment. I don't know why that stuck with me so much, but it did. It's like, man, what? I'm not, I'm not doing anything creative here. You know, this is an investigation. This is more science. You know, if I was gonna do some kind of creative stuff, I mean, I this would, it would this would go nuts. <laughs> I mean, I would do so much more. And I don't know. That just really bothered me. It really did. But yeah, I just, I just want you guys to know what what's going on um why i'm doing this i just wanted to have this time to to talk to you guys and um really just bring you uh into my uh my world and what i'm doing and i did just touch the pillow so if she moved you know that was me but yeah 
So uh, if you actually stuck it out through all of this, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, for supporting me. And uh, I hope you guys uh, have a good day.